This is how you can get autocomplete while coding your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any other video on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can get a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bot packages based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. All right, so to get autocomplete in your code, and what I mean by this is when you type an AI will actually go ahead and fill in what it thinks you're trying to type and I'm sure you guys have seen this in a lot of my videos it's popped up multiple times and people have asked me about it the plugin that we're gonna be using for this also has a lot of different features and we're gonna go ahead and go over that as well so to get this we're gonna go over to extensions and we're gonna go ahead and search for black box and we can just go ahead and choose the first one it's going to have 1.8 million downloads or around that um, and it's gonna be black box AI code generation code chat and code search so just go ahead and click on install right here and it's going to go ahead and install this to your Visual Studio code. So now that we have this installed, let's go over to the black box tab. So we can just go ahead and close out of this and we have a couple of tabs on the bottom as well. So let's just go ahead and start off with the code chat. It's going to open up an AI code chat pretty much just like ChatGPT where you can ask it questions about your code. So now let's go ahead and click on comment code and that's just going to be on the bottom. Now obviously it's not going to do anything because we're not in code files, but let's say we were to go over to a code file. We can just go to index.js. Let's go ahead and click on comment code. So as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and copy and paste all your code in. And then the AI is going to comment in your code and give everything in here comments. So obviously we can stop generating it now, but as you can see, each part of this code has comments based on AI. So that's another cool feature of this. We can also do explain code. So it's going to go ahead and generate an explanation based off the file you are in. Um, so it will load and once it's done, we'll have an explanation of all the code within this. And as you can see, now here's our explanation um, with comments and everything like that. It's pretty useful, actually. Um, obviously, it's not perfect because it's AI, but those are some pretty basic properties of black box. So you're going to notice eventually after you install this that this line and the plus pops up here on the side. Essentially, what this is, is it allows you to interact with AI within your code directly. And it also is autocomplete. So let's go ahead and click on that plus and we can just go ahead and choose the AI chat. I have two installed, so we can just use one and we can go ahead and start a discussion. So we can basically say maybe how to use a JavaScript variable or something very, very basic, but we can just go ahead and ask it. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and create a discussion. So as you can see, we have our discussion. So this is really useful. Like, let's say we're in the code here and I'm trying to figure something out, but I can't really figure it out and I need some help. You could just ask AI right here and it would give you a good explanation of how to do it. All right. So the main part of this is going to be the autocomplete. Now, Blackbox AI has autocomplete. And basically what it allows you to do is the AI is going to guess what you're trying to type next based off of the code that you've already written. So as you can see here, we have an example of the autocomplete. I've written a simple function, a console.log function, and then we have if no console.log.wrapped, then we can do something else. Now, as you can see here, we can actually go ahead and hover over it and we can go ahead and accept, or we could just go ahead and continue typing. But let's just go ahead and say we want to accept it. We can accept the word or we can accept the entire thing. So as you can see, we've accepted the rest of it. So now let's say that was exactly what we wanted to go with. Now it's going to continue our function. And as you can see, we have even more autocomplete. Another way you can accept it really quickly is just by pressing tab. So let's just keep going. As you can see now, the bot isn't giving me any more autocomplete requests, but actually there goes another one. I'm just going to continue with these autocompletes and see what we get. Sometimes if you wait, Blackbox is just going to continue to give you more and more autocompletes. And really, I'm not doing any coding right now. I'm just letting Blackbox do it all based off of what AI thinks I want to code right now, um, which is actually really, really cool. Now, if this doesn't happen for you, um, and keep in mind, it might not happen right away. Sometimes you might have to be coding for a while and then you'll see something pop up like this just go ahead and do Control shift p and then go ahead and search for black box and then you can go ahead and search for autocomplete and just go ahead and do enable black box autocomplete um, or you could disable it or clear whatever you want to do but if you just go ahead and click enable then it should be enabled uh, and then it will continue to work or it will work if it wasn't already so now as you can see the autocomplete is continuing um, now sometimes like i said it might not be 100 percent accurate it might not provide exactly what you're looking for, but a lot of the times, uh, especially when I'm coding videos, it really, really does actually give me accurate information. Like recently in a video I just posted a couple days ago, I was coding a note system and I was trying to reply with an error. And surprisingly, the bot essentially guessed the exact error message I wanted to send. And 
even formatted it into a send message function. So if you've seen that video, maybe you know what I'm talking about, but that's pretty much the essential concept of the autocomplete. Now this is actually similar to GitHub Copilot um, that is paid. While this is free, it's not gonna be as good as Copilot, but it does provide a pretty good basis for autocomplete. And not only that, it does give you a lot of extra features as well. Like I said, it comments your code. You can start discussions with it by pressing this plus or going into the AI chat field. But for the most part, the autocomplete does work really well and so do all the other features of this. Now, since this video is based on the black box AI, I know it's mostly about autocomplete, but I have already showed some features that this has. The last feature I want to share is the share code link. So if you just go ahead and click on this, as you can see, it's gonna say link copied to clipboard. And if we go into a new browser and we just go ahead and copy and paste that link, it might take a little bit to load, but it's actually gonna go ahead and load in your code. So essentially what this allows you to do is it allows you to share your code to other people. It's pretty cool actually. I can essentially go ahead and copy this down or do whatever I want with it, but that is another cool feature that I thought I'd add in. All right, so that's you can get autocomplete in your code similar to GitHub Copilot. Now I do want to keep emphasizing that you might not see this right away, but while you continue to code and make systems and stuff within your Discord bot or whatever project you're working on, you're going to notice these autocomplete requests coming up and you'll be able to accept or deny them. And you're actually going to start to notice that these are pretty accurate. And most of the time they're giving you what you want. And I personally myself have actually used this multiple times when coding um, because it just makes it easy to click tab and and get essentially exactly what I want as an autocomplete. If you do need any help with this or any other video on my channel, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use my help channels here. We'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.